I want to speak to you about lady preachers. You know, a lot of uh, male chauvinist pigs hate lady preachers. And there's even some people who rail against them on uh, YouTube. But I want to talk to you about a lady preacher named Hulda. And, uh, you know, Josiah was not a male chauvinist pig when it came to consulting her. She had a word from the Lord. And uh, if you read uh, the 22nd chapter of 2 Kings, you'll read about this uh, lady preacher. Now, friend, I wish that everybody in the world could just do what I've just finished doing. Going over every word in 2 Kings in Hebrew, Yiddish, English, and with the Orthodox Jewish Bible. I guarantee you, it is probably the scariest book in the entire Bible. It is absolutely scary. I mean, uh, when you think about it, I, I don't even think I can put it in words. When you think about it, what is coming? Hold it, tells him. You see, uh, this guy, Josiah, he, he discovered the book. I'm praying that you will discover the book. The Sacred Torah. Oh, yes. And that you will see Leviticus 26 and Deuteronomy 28 about the fire that's coming. The terrible fire. You see, you may talk about separation of church and state. And from your point of view, it may be all right. If there's witchcraft in the Oval Office, no problem. But when you read this book, you see it's separation of truth from the brain. Because if the leader, if the Manasseh leader leads the people uh, down the wrong path, it will mean unquenchable fire, unquenchable fire for the whole nation. And that's what you see here. And, and uh, I got I to gotta tell you uh, that it's extremely scary. And, and I got to give you what she actually said, because Josiah sent his uh, messengers to her. And this is what she said. Tell the man who sent you, that's Josiah, uh, who sent you to me, <laughs> a, a lady preacher, ha <laughs> ha, uh, all you guys out there that, uh, that, that hate lady preachers, do you think you're smarter than Josiah? Get your head screwed on straight, friend. Stop being a male chauvinist pig. Be, be a righteous man like Josiah. And, and, and if, if a lady preacher has a word from the Lord, listen, friend, if my apartment is going to burn up and a lady comes to the door with, uh, uh, with batteries for the smoke detector, I'll take them from her just as well as anybody else, friend. And this woman is talking about unquenchable fire. Here's what she says. She says, this is what the Lord says. Ha ha. I'd rather, I'd rather get a, a, a lady preacher giving me a word from the Lord than, than hear a lot of prattle from these uh, men that are in the pulpit. It says, I'm going to bring disaster on this place, referring to Jerusalem and its people, referring to the Jews in Jerusalem. According to everything written in the, the book, He's, she's talking about the Sefer Torah that was discovered. Hallelujah. When are you going to discover it, friend? When are you going to? Listen, the Orthodox Jewish Bible is now on the iPhone. You have no excuse. You, you can read what she's talking about. Leviticus chapter 26 and Deuteronomy chapter 28, where God says it, it's not a, a, an option really to disobey the words in this holy Sefer Torah. Because if you don't obey them, I'm coming against you with fire. And, and it says, it says, according to everything written in the book uh, that the king of Judah has read. Hallelujah. Josiah read the book and he was scared. And he wanted a, a real preacher, a real preacher who could rightly divide the word of truth to give him uh, the interpretation. And then she tells him why. She says, because they have forsaken me. Yes. And that word there, it's the same word that is in Psalm uh, uh, 22. And it's also uh, the, the same word that's on the lips of Moshiach. Uh, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? This is where he experiences this hellish uh, uh, forsakenness. 
that we deserve. And it says, uh, and burned incense to Elohim Aharim and aroused my anger by all the, their idols their hands have made. It says, because of this, my anger will burn against this place and will not be quenched. And that word, uh, Tav base Resh He, is the same word you find at the very end of Isaiah. Unquenchable. The fire is unquenchable. Friend, fire can come fast. Fire, your whole building can be enveloped in flames in a few minutes. Fire can come hot. Uh, at eye level, 600 degrees. Your, your, your clothes actually melt into your skin. Everything ignites at once at that, at that temperature. It's called a flashover. Uh, it, it's, it's black. It's dark. You can't see. You're disoriented. You, Yeshua is the brightly lit um, a fire exit. Can you say amen? amen? Hallelujah. In the darkness, in the outer darkness, uh, uh, where you're blinded and disoriented and unable to find your way. Yeshua is there. Hallelujah, friend. He's there. Uh, and, and you know, these toxic gases, these hot gases that can sear your lungs and, and, and put you into a deep sleep. Sometimes it's the lady's apartment down the hall. She's smoking in bed and you're asleep. And, and, and you go into a deep, deep sleep because the toxic gases, uh, they make you drowsy and dis disoriented and short of breath. And you go into this deep sleep and you can't wake up in time. Hallelujah. Many <laughs> that sleep in the dust of the earth will awake. Can you say amen? amen. amen. And, and uh, the last verse of Isaiah, unquenchable fire, unquenchable fire. And friend, we need the Lord today. Can you say amen? amen? We need the Lord. 